सो सर बेसिकली मैंने ये जो जीएस पेपर टू का जो टॉपर्स के आंसर शीट एनालाइज किया वो है दिव्या मिश्रा का जो ऑल इंडिया रैंक ट्वेंटी एट थी इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एंड सी वॉज वन ऑफ द टॉप स्कोर ऑफ जी एस तो सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज रिलेटेड टू पुअर्टी तो जो इसमें अलग था कि उन्होंने है ना एक पुअर्टी का ये एक एक तो सबसे पहले उनका जो इंट्रोडक्शन था वो चार लाइन में था पुअर्टी के बारे में फिर वो बॉडी में है उन्होंने काफी सारी चीजें कवर की थी जैसे करंट पुअर्टी रेट क्या चल रहा है पुअर्टी के प्रॉब्लम्स क्या है और जो स्टेप्स जो हम ले रहे हैं तो स्टेप्स में भी काफी डाइवर्स चीजें उन्होंने इंक्लूड की थी जैसे हेल्थ हेल्थ के सेक्टर में हम क्या स्टेप्स ले रहे हैं जिससे पुअर्टी को कम किया जा सके एजुकेशन के सेक्टर में क्या ले रहे हैं फूड एंड न्यूट्रिशन के सेक्टर में क्या ले रहे हैं फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन के लिए क्या ले रहे हैं तो चार पांच ऐसे डाइवर्स बैकग्राउंड से उन्होंने एग्जाम्पल्स लिए थे और साथ ही साथ उन्होंने एक ग्राफ में ये भी मेंशन किया था जैसे ये जो बगल में मैंने बनाया है कि 1950 जब हमारा इंडिया रिपब्लिक बना तो उस टाइम पोवर्टी रेट क्या थी और अभी क्या था तो एक काफी मतलब वेल प्रेजेंटेड आंसर था सेकेंड क्वेश्चन था उनका पीएम गरीब कल्याण योजना से रिलेटेड तो आ, उसमें उन्होंने तीन लाइन में अपना इंट्रोडक्शन दिया था जो काफी अच्छा था एक तो कि बैकग्राउंड ऑफ लॉन्चिंग की क्यों हुआ तो वो था कि ड्यूरिंग कोविड हुआ था आ, ये इस योजना का इट के टारगेट ऑडियंस क्या है तो वर्नरेबल सेक्शन ऑफ आवर कंट्री और इस योजना का एम क्या है तो इंक्रीज द डिमांड ठीक है उसके बाद उन्होंने पैकेज भी मेंशन किया था कि कितने लाख का है तो 1.08 लाख करोड़ का तो सर इससे ये चीज अच्छी लगी इसमें कि मतलब जहां पे उन्होंने नंबर्स मेंशन किए तो ये पता चलता है कि कोई भी मतलब एक एस्पिरेंट है वो उसने काफी अच्छे से रेड किया है स्कीम के बारे में तो ये काफी अच्छा चीज था जो इनके आंसर्स में नजर आ रहा था और हाँ ये जो इस आंसर में एक और खास बात ये थी कि उन्होंने वर्नरेबल सेक्शन में जैसे हम लोग मोस्टली दो तीन सेक्शन को बस देखते हैं वेमेन हो गया चिल्ड्रन हो गया या पुअर पीपल हो गए लेकिन इन्होंने इस इसके अलावा माइनॉरिटीज भी इंक्लूड किए थे एस सी भी इंक्लूड किए थे एंड ट्रांसजेंडर्स का भी एग्जाम्पल लिया था जो इनके आंसर्स को काफी ज्यादा इन्हेंस कर रहा था तो ये काफी अच्छी पॉइंट इनके आंसर से सीखने को मिली थी क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड था सर इशूज फेस पर आवर हेल्थ केयर सिस्टम Uh, हमारा हेल्थ केयर सिस्टम कौन में क्या क्या इश्यूज है तो उसमें सबसे पहले उन्होंने जो इंट्रोडक्शन uh, मतलब जो क्वेश्चन का इंट्रोडक्शन था उसमें उन्होंने ये कोट किया था कि हमारा हम uh, हम जो अपना जीडीपी का 1.4 परसेंट स्पेंड करते हैं हेल्थ केयर सिस्टम में बट uh, वही नेशनल हेल्थ पॉलिसी जो है uh, उसका जो मैंडेट है वो ये बोलता है कि हमें एटलीस्ट टू ऑफ आवर जी को हेल्थ हेल्थ सेगमेंट में मतलब स्पेंड करना चाहिए तो उन सर मेरी आवाज आ रही है ना हेलो यस कंटिन्यू ठीक है ठीक है ओके तो ये काफी अच्छी चीज थी कि उन्होंने एक डेटा के साथ शुरुआत की थी और उन्होंने आ, अपने इंट्रोडक्शन के अलावा बॉडी पार्ट में भी हेल्थ केयर सिस्टम में उन्होंने डेटा को काफी अच्छे से कोट किया जैसे डॉक्टर पॉपुलेशन रेशियो क्या है उन्होंने तीन चार स्टेट का भी दिखाया था कि बिहार हाँ सर Anuva, can you please speak in English if you can, because uh, everybody okay, okay, understand okay. English okay. is here, and some are from South India as well. I think somebody requested me. Okay, 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 okay. Fine, sir. Uh, so in question number three, the question was related to the issues faced by healthcare system. So in introduction, uh, she uh, she quoted about uh, uh, our data, like uh, uh, India spends 1.4 percent of our GDP. Whereas the national health policy asks us to spend around 2.5 percent, so this was a very well introduction. Like she quoted a uh, figure, and uh, she also used data in the body part. Like she mentioned the doctor population ratio in different states. Like in Bihar, what is the doctor to population ratio? In Uttar Pradesh, what is the doctor to population ratio? And she also uh, quoted examples of like Kerala. So there, the doctor to patient ratio is very low. uh she also uh, quoted about uh, infant mortality rate maternal mortality maternal mortality rate and the mortality rate of children below 5 years so these were some of the uh, data which she quoted in the answers and uh, in the conclusion she gave the suggestions of national medical commission uh, so it was uh, like it was giving a framework that she have also read about the medical commission and its recommendations so it was uh, enhancing the answers uh, a bit uh, the question uh, number 5 was related to self help group uh, 
uh, so the two different thing which i found here one was the example of lijjat papad uh, which is uh, quite famous and second was jivika didi uh, this was a very unique example which i found because jivika didi is a self help group in bihar uh, which is working against alcohol consumption uh, so i think this was uh, one of the examples which was making this question very much matlab enhancing the enhancing the question and it was making it look like the yes he has well read uh, and she has well uh, read about the topic of self help group and uh, she has good knowledge about this uh, question number 7 was related to india nepal relation so in this question she used the map like uh, she quoted the area like the kalapani is a disputed area between india and nepal so she uh, showed the location of that area on map and uh, Uh, one of uh, she uses a, she used a quote like the relationship uh, the bond of india and nepal is like roti beti ka rishta so this was her introduction so it uh, i think such introduction will make the uh, invigilator like uh, he will be interested to know what uh, the aspirant has written so these were some of the things uh, which i found in an answer which were very attractive and uh, uh, in india nepal relation also she uh mentioned uh, she used very diverse issues like not only border issues she mentioned how china is influencing nepal which is affecting our relationship she mentioned about illegal migration which is affecting our relationship she also mentioned about the people's perception of nepal which is affecting our relationship so uh, she, um, like uh, normally we talk about border issues and all but uh, there were five six issues like madheshi issues illegal migration how the china is influencing so this was something which made her answer very attractive uh uh similar way question number 13 it was related to new economy uh, uh, new education policy of 2022 uh, 2020 sorry so what were the implement, what are the implementation challenges uh, so here uh, i found one of our examples very attractive like the jharkhand scholarship scam in jharkhand scholarship scam what were there like uh, uh, the Uh, there were some people who used the, the fake uh, names and fake documents of uh, uh, some uh, students uh, and they used to provide a scholarship to fake students like the beneficiary uh, beneficiaries were not getting uh, uh, the scholarship and it was uh, going into the accounts of fake ones so these are some of the challenges digital divide like only 30% uh, people have internet and rest 70% don't have access to it uh, so these were some of the examples which made her answers very like very good uh, question number 7 16 was related to bimstek so in bimstek uh, she used the world map and she showed which uh, which countries are there in bimstek like india thailand myanmar bangladesh bhutan sri lanka so uh, she used the world map for it and uh, in the significance she used the examples of current affairs like the bimstek members are uh, have been invited in brics summit uh, Uh, bimstek members were invited in the, the republic day ceremony and uh, when uh, narendra modi took oath in 2019 the bimstek uh, countries were invited so she used the examples of current affairs which uh, enhanced her answers a bit question 18 was related to indian ocean region here uh, again also she used uh, the world map she showed indian ocean region in the in the world map and uh, uh, the what are the challenges so she didn't only mentioned uh, Uh, matlab like uh, normally we go with indian ocean and uh, china and all but she mentioned china uk and usa and all the three initiatives which are going on like uh, uh, in china world one one belt one road initiative in uk diego gracia initiative by usa indo pacific policy so there was very diversity in the answer uh the question 20 was related to indian diaspora so what are we doing for indian diaspora or what are the challenges being faced by them uh so her introduction was like uh, she quoted of figure that uh, there are around, around 20 million uh, people uh, who are of indian diaspora which are living abroad and the remittances which we, which they send to india uh, is of uh, around 80 billion dollars so she quoted a figure which was like uh, showing that uh, yeah she has a good knowledge about indian diaspora uh, and the example she quoted uh, normally what we quote like what i used to quote is some uh, like uh, sundar pichai and all but she took the examples of kamla harris which recently became the vice president of usa uh, she quoted the example of uh, rishi sunak which uh, 
uh, who joined the UK cabinet. See, quoted the example of Priyanka Radha Krishnan, who became a minister in New Zealand cabinet. So these were some of the unique examples which I thought, uh, like, uh, which were making our answers more uh, like attractive and different from others. And uh, the initiatives is, which she quoted was like a study in India, Deko Apna Desh, Parvasi Bharat, Bharat Divas, which is celebrated on 9th January, uh, and the evacuation policies which we took uh, during war, like uh, uh, she appeared in 2019. So that time she mentioned about uh, evacuation policy which were going on in Syria, Yemen, and Sudan. So right, like uh, recently also we can see the government of India took uh, uh, evacuation uh, like uh, they evacuated Indian citizens from Afghanistan and Ukraine. So we can quote su such examples. So this was uh, the unique thing which I found, uh, like uh, taking examples from diverse background, taking examples from current affairs, using a world maps to show the area. If the question is related to a specific area or some uh, uh, like uh, international uh, relationship uh, or like some summit uh, and all in which a uh, few member countries are a part of. So. In such questions, we can use the world map. Uh, if the questions are related to, like, uh, see, like in Indian diaspora, so she took some different examples, not the common examples which everyone are caught, quoting, like Sundar Pichai and all. She took the examples of some unique like, name, like Rishi Sunak, Priyanka, Radha Krishnan, which became a minister in New Zealand cabinet. So these are the things which I found which are very attractive uh, in her answers. 